let's look at algebraic e expressions in uh, greater detail. So uh, let's start by having a expression minus 2q plus 3q squared minus 4. So this looks complicated enough. So uh, there are a couple of uh, naming conventions that you'd have to take note on how you describe this uh, equation and its components. So uh, these are our terms. We call these terms. Uh, the, this is the p term. This is the q term. This is the q square term. And this is what we call the constant term because it doesn't have a variable. It, it, uh, it is just a constant. And so the al algebraic terms, the p's and the q's, the unknowns, or we call as we call it, are also called variables. So these are the variables of the equation, and this is the constant term. This is the constant of the equation. So in front of the variables, we have a number. These we then call them the coefficients. And so in this case, we see the coefficient of p square is 6, the coefficient of p is 1, the coefficient of q is not 2, but it's actually minus 2, because the negative sign has to be taken into account, and the coefficient of q square is 3. There are other ways to look at terms, and one way is to differentiate between like terms and unlike terms. So how do you define like terms and unlike terms? So example is 4ab and minus 5ab, these are like terms. Because you see that the variable is exactly the same. The coefficient can be different, but as long as the variables are the same, they are like terms. So what is an example of unlike term then? So for example, 3a squared b and say 4ab squared. Even though the variables are the same variables, meaning there's a and there's b, you can see that the that a there's a square of a and there's a square of b, and so it makes this uh, unlike terms because if you play it out, this equals to a times a times b, and this is a times b times b, which is different. So these are unlike terms. And next, I'm going to show you how uh, and why these, uh, these like terms and unlike terms actually matter when you solve uh, algebraic equations. The concept of like terms and unlike terms actually uh, is very important for simplification of your algebraic expressions. So for example, 4x plus 5y minus 6x squared plus 6x. You can see uh, the first thing you have to do to simplify is to find the like terms. In this case, uh, x and x. The rest are unlike terms because this is x squared, this is y. So with like terms, you can actually add them together. So it becomes 10x, 6 plus 4x, plus 5y minus 6x squared. If the terms are unlike terms, then you cannot add them together. Let's now look at other operations we can have on algebraic equations or expressions. So we have this long expression that we are going to solve using addition and a subtraction of algebra. So uh, how we're going to do this is to use the concept we just uh, we learned just now, which is to group them according to like terms and their uh, unlike terms. So this is three x square and this is uh, x square, but you have to note that this is a minus sign in front. So what this will become is actually 3x squared. We can remove the bracket because it's a plus. Plus x minus 3y plus 4. And because of this minus, you have to uh, multiply minus 1 by every term within the bracket. So it becomes minus x squared. Because of this, it becomes minus 2y. Minus 2y. And it becomes plus 6. So minus and minus becomes positive. So it becomes plus 6. So this uh, expression at the top is equivalent to this expression. So you can then group them based on their like terms. So the x square will go with the x, uh, x square uh, plus x. There's no other x term, so we leave it. Minus 3y 
and you look around there's another minus uh, there's another term with uh, the variable y so it becomes minus 2y uh, and the constant is plus 4 plus 6 so with like terms you can just uh, multiply uh, you can just minus off the coefficient so the coefficient of here is 3 the coefficient of uh, this minus is uh, of, of this x square is minus 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 so you get 2x square x is alone you leave it there because you cannot add the dislike terms so minus 3y minus 2y so it's minus 3 minus 2 which is minus 5 and the uh, variable you keep it and then plus 4 plus 6 10 so this would be the answer after you uh, add and subtract the individual terms and sometimes we have uh, more expressions that may look quite complicated for example this one 7y minus 3 bracket 4 minus 5 another bracket 1 minus y and close bracket so this may look quite uh, confusing so what we can do to this is a process called uh, simplification and how we simplify this formula is by extend, uh, expanding each of the brackets out so that you don't have uh, any uh, you don't have these brackets and you will just have the you can see the uh, variables and see the coefficient in front of them so in this case we keep 7y because there's no bracket so what we want to do is to open up the inner brackets first so we leave the outer brackets which is these two out, uh, alone and then we open up the inner bracket so in this case it's minus 5 times 1 because we want to expand out this bracket we take out the coefficient in front and multiply it in so it's minus 5 you have to take note it's not just 5 that you're multiplying in because of the minus in front you have to take minus 5 times 1 which is minus 5 and minus 5 times minus y which is positive 5y because negative and negative is positive so now it looks simpler already because you only have one bracket but it can be simplified even further so if you go a further step you might take 7y and you take minus 3 times 4 you get minus 12 you get minus 3 times minus 5 which is plus 15 and you take minus 3 times 5y you get minus 15y so you use you put the like terms together 7y minus 15y and the constant terms which are the like terms as well together then you can simplify them so what you'll get is 3 for the constant and uh, minus 8y so some people may ask whether I can wh why did I change the constant to the front and change the variable to the back it's just uh, because I prefer it looks better rather than if I put uh, minus 8y plus 3 which is also a correct answer it's just a personal preference that I prefer to put the positive number in front in this case 3 the last operation that we're going to look at for this chapter is factorization of algebraic expressions so with uh, factorizations you actually find you usually find the common factors between terms and then try to draw out the common terms and make it even simpler so let's uh, do an example for this so for example we have expression 7 uh, ax minus 21 x plus 12 minus 4 a so what we can do is we can see that uh, we can use group these two and we can find some similarities in this case the x is similar is similar and you see that 7 and 21 are both multiples of 7 so we can take out the common factor in this case is 7x and this will remain an a inside because 7 a 7x times a equals to 7ax and 7x minus 3 times 7x times minus 3 goes to minus 21x so from here you can see what I've done is to I found the common factors removed it take it out and become this expression so from here 12 minus 4a you can see the common factor is 4 so I can take away 4 and it becomes 3 so 4 times 3 is 12 minus a because 4 times minus a goes to minus 4a so this line here this expression here is exactly the same as this expression here 
So you can see that on both sides, the brackets uh, a minus three and three minus a, it seems pretty similar. So we're gonna make them the same. So seven x a minus three, leave this one. And as you have seen previously, we can actually remove the minus sign and put it outside if you multiply the insides by negative one as well. So it becomes a minus three. So three minus a equals to negative a minus three because if you want to open it up, you take the multiple uh, the, the minus in. It's exa exactly the same. So don't forget the coefficient just now. So these terms are the same. So right now you can see both have both sides have a similar uh, factor again, which is a minus three. Both of them have a minus three. So you can take it out again even more and multiply it by the remaining coefficient. So in this case it's 7x. So a minus 3, if you multiply in times 7x, you get this term. And this becomes minus 4 because when a minus 3 multiply in, you get this term. So this will be the final answer that is factorized. So some people may ask, why did I group these two and these two and not another way? For example, 7ax minus 4a, since they have a like terms, which is a. But you realize that there is no uh, alike terms in the other side, which is not very helpful if, even if you draw out a. So this will give you a 7x minus 4 minus 21x plus 12. So this doesn't give you a much simpler version. So the, the trick to this is you have to do a lot more practices so that you have a better sense on which are the terms to group together and you can factorize even more. But this is essentially the process of factorization and simplification and you can do addition and, uh, and subtraction of uh, algebraic expressions.